think that as a woman, that is the prayer for all of the men in our lives, that we are able to support them as they're moving forward in purpose and destiny and calling, but as they're moving forward and being the men that God has called them to be, as they're moving forward and actually providing a covering for their family and prayer, providing for their family, spending time and nurturing their family. And as a woman, that's our biggest heart's desire is for the men in our lives, our fathers, our sons, our, our husbands, our husbands-to-be, our, our friends, to act, to really be this this man, the man that God has ultimately called. So my heart kind of poured out for her. And as I was praying, I just um, sensed that God wanted us as women to come together and to pray for the men in our lives. So um, ladies, join me in in this prayer. Um, and it's, it's, it's a heartfelt prayer for me. Um, but I know that each of us, as we've just, um, many have been honored on the International Day of the Woman, I believe that one of the woman's biggest assignments from God is to provide a continual, a continual um, prayer and intercession for the men in our lives, particularly as it relates to them being able to be what God has called them to be. So just join me. Join me in prayer. If you pray in the Spirit, let's pray in the Spirit. If not, just say yes and amen. Yes and amen. Because the Word of God tells us that where two or three are gathered together, there He is in the midst of them, and that He will perform whatever we ask, right? So we're calling Him into this time. I'm calling Him into your your home and into your heart and, and to reach and touch the men in your lives. But I ultimately believe that the Spirit of the living God will lead us into prayers that will break barriers and that will release miracles ultimately around the world. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, Lord, we just lift you up. We lift you up in this moment. We come together and we just say we love you, God, that you are our God. You are our Father. You are our help. You are our strength. You are our provider. You are our way maker, oh God. And we thank you, Father God, that you're not just our help and our strength, our refuge and, and our strong tower and our provider, but you are also all of those things for the men in our lives. So, Father, we lift up our fathers, we lift up our brothers, we lift up our, our husbands, our husbands-to-be. We lift up our sons to you, O Lord God, and we present them to you. We cover them now with the blood of Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, that it is your perfect will. It is your will to bless, to heal, to strengthen, to promote, to, to um, even edify the men in our lives. So we rest, we rest, we rest, we rest right now in this prayer, knowing God that you love them. You love them more than we love them. I thank you, Father God, that your word says that you would go before them and that you would level the mountain and that you would make every crooked place straight in the lives of the men in our lives. So right now, Father, I ask you to protect them. I pray that you would go before each and every man, that you would defend them in the spirit and in the natural. I pray, Father God, that you would deliver them from evil, that you would protect them, Father God, from the plot, plans, and schemes of the enemy that would try to derail them from purpose and calling and destiny. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse. I break every generational curse, every word curse that has been spoken against them. I declare that the blood of Jesus is against you now. I thank you, O oh God, that your blood and the cross of Jesus Christ and the name of Jesus is doing warfare on the behalf of our men. I pray, Father God, that you would cover them right now with peace. That you would touch their hearts and touch their minds and, and release unto them the peace that passes all understanding. I cancel every spirit of worry and anxiety and fear that is tormenting and plaguing the men in our lives, oh God. We lift up a hedge of protection for them even in this moment. And I thank you that fear is broken. 
fear. The fear of failure is broken in the name of Jesus. The tormenting thoughts, the words that of accusation that continually that uh, torment them, oh God. We break it right now in the spirit. And I release the peace of God, the peace of God to surround them, to protect their heart and their mind. God, put a guard around their heart and their mind. Be Jehovah Shalom for them, oh God. And even in this moment, God, we lift up a hedge of protection. I pray, Father that you would give them wisdom and revelation, that you would speak to each and every man that we're lifting up right now, that you would reveal yourself to them, that they would have new eyes to see you clearly and a new heart, God, to perceive you. I pray for courage, courage in their hearts, Courage to be able, O oh Lord God, to move into the things that you've called them to. Courage, O oh God, to walk away from the things that you have called them away from. I pray for courage. I sever right now every tie, every soul tie, every demonic force that will try to keep them connected, God, to those things that you have called them from. I sever it in the spirit. I declare and decree that the blood of Jesus right now is at work, O oh God, and whom the Son has set free is free indeed, and that our men will free will be free they will walk in freedom they will walk in freedom from addiction they will walk in freedom from fear they will walk in freedom oh god and i ask you even in the name of your son jesus god to do a quick work to do a work today every mother that's praying for her son god i set myself in agreement with her and i pray for peace in her heart Father, I ask you to hear the, the prayers and the cry of our men. I pray that you would lift them up, that you would promote them, that you would honor them. I ask you, oh, Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, to, to, to open up a door. Open up the door. Open up the way. Show them the path of peace and prosperity. I cancel the assignment of lack and shortage and debt. I break the curse, O oh God, the bondage of poverty, perpetual poverty, O oh God, perpetual struggle. I break it in the name of Jesus. I release the blessing of God into the lives of our men that they will be able to provide, that they will be able, O oh God, to excel in the purpose and call and destiny that you've set them to. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you, God, to open up doors, doors of opportunity, doors of purpose, doors of assignment that is laced and Grace with prosperity, increase and abundance, God. I thank you that lack is broken off of our men's lives. Lack is broken off of their minds and their hearts as I cancel the generational curse, God. I pray for repentance, Father, for every ancestor and every forefather that has that has laid a, a path of of sin and 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 addiction and 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 dis destruction, God in the path of our men and i ask you father to lift up lift them up i pray that the blood of jesus even in this moment will sever them from every curse of every ancestor and i ask you god to release release new blessings new blessings income increase income and increase god I thank you that you're, you're moving right now in the hearts of our men, that you are, you're speaking to them, God. You're drawing them to you. I pray, Father, that your word would be true. You said that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness would be filled. So I pray, God, that you would release a new hunger, a new thirst, God, for you, your presence, for righteousness, for you and prayer and righteousness in the hearts of our men, and that you would fill that hunger, God, Put the hunger in them. Work in them, God, to willing to do of your good pleasure. And then fill that hunger with your presence. New blessings. New blessings. Income. Increase. Income and increase, God. I thank you that you're, you're moving right now in the hearts of our men. That you are you're speaking to them, God. You're drawing them to you. I pray, Father, 
that your word would be true. You said that those that hunger and thirst after righteousness would be filled. So I pray, God, that you would release a new hunger, a new thirst, God, for you, your presence, for righteousness, for you and prayer and righteousness in the hearts of our men and that you would fill that hunger, God. Put the hunger in them. Work in them, God, to willing to do of your good pleasure and then fill that hunger with your presence. Fill that hunger, God, with your power. Break everything, everything that comes before you and your will and your word for their lives, God, and release your love unto them, God, like never before. Let them understand and know that it is in you, Father, that all fulfillment and joy is met. Give them a vision of the men that you have called them to be and give them the strength, the power, and the courage to walk into that vision, to walk into the, the purpose, the calling, the destiny, the abundance, the grace, the, the, the strength, the might, the power, God, that you've created them for. So even right now, we just thank you. We thank you, God, that we can trust the men in our lives unto you because you love them more than we do. We take this time to cover them with the blood and to lift them up to you. But we leave them in your hands, O oh God. And we thank you that you are true, that you, your word will not return into you void, that even as we release these prayers in faith, that you're answering them now. You're moving now. You're moving now. And I speak peace to the heart of every woman that's watching this video right now. Peace. Peace. May the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. May he give you wisdom and insight on, on, on how to be a support and not a hindrance. May he give you the, the grace, the grace of God to move in supernatural ways. And may he even give you wisdom and insight on words to release in prayer. May he open up your prayer life so that you can pray with the precision and a prophetic voice that comes from God that will release God's perfect will from heaven here on earth in the lives of the men that you're praying for. Not our will, God. We don't have a will. We don't have a, a way or an agenda to give to them. But I thank you, God, that you, you are even touching our hearts to have the grace and the love and the wisdom, the patience and the strength to release your will in the earth whim over our men. We cover them. We protect them. Fill us with love and strength and, and help us, oh God, to continue to trust you as you are working in all of us to will and to do of your good pleasure. We pray this prayer in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and we thank you, God, that by faith we receive the answer done. We receive and see our men blessed, and we declare that it will be no other way. It is mandated in the earth in this day that our men are blessed and not cursed in the name of Jesus Christ. So that's it, guys. Um, I pray that this prayer blesses you. If it was a blessing, share it with other women in your life that you know has a son or has a, a father or a husband or a husband-to-be that um, just needs prayer. So with that, I hope to see you again soon. Watch out. We're going to be bringing you the School of Greatness here online. Um, but if you like it, like it, share it. And this is Latanya Michelle. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.